Some people's misery, other people's gain. Enrich the rich and make them richer. We're outside the offices of LRC RE1 Home Club. LRC has assets of six billion euros. That makes it richer than one in five countries on the planet. But between September 2022 and May 2023, LRC RE1 Home Club has evicted 89 families from their homes for no reason. They're doing this at a moment of national crisis. We're here because this landlord is evicting families across Dublin. What we have is people being torn out of their communities, uh, children being uh, ripped out of their schools, and the social contract just being torn up in front of our faces. So we're here today with some of the families who are being evicted by LRC RE1. And it gives me great hope to be here with them because they're saying no, they're standing up, and they're saying that they won't allow their children to be evicted into homelessness. We're about to deliver a letter to the landlord. Now this letter has already been communicated uh, to the landlord by email, by letter, by video, by parliamentary question, by social media. The landlord knows what the demands are. Firstly, the families are demanding that the five notices to quit are withdrawn immediately. Secondly, that the landlord engages with Fingal County Council with a mind to selling the properties to the local authority. And thirdly, that it immediately ceases the practice of evicting families for no reason. The residents from Applewood, they're making a very clear statement uh, to the landlord today that they want their eviction notices withdrawn, but also to say to the landlord that no reason evictions are completely and totally unacceptable and they need to stop doing that uh, right now. The uh, evictions that are taking place across Dublin do not happen in a vacuum. Uh, they're happening in the context of this government's pro-landlord, pro-financialisation housing policies that have seen the government vote against People Before Profit Solidarity's uh, eviction ban bill that would have given families across Dublin some light in their lives as they go into the winter and some hope. But they chose not to do that because their interests lie with investment companies, with landlords, and we say that this has to stop. One struggle, one fight, housing is a human right. One struggle, one fight, housing is a human right. One struggle, one fight, housing is a human right. One struggle, one fight, housing is a human right. My name's Helen, I'm here with PASU, Community Action Tenants Union. We're a housing union that have been helping people to resist their evictions. The situation speaks for itself. You have like a giant landlord that shouldn't even exist as a landlord that has really no ethical or, or political right to be in this country. Evicting people into homelessness shouldn't be allowed, shouldn't be happening in the state, and definitely shouldn't be coming at the hands of people who have offices in Luxembourg and have never met the people that they're going to be putting out onto the street. We're a direct action community focus union, so we support people in resisting their evictions or if they need some help and support if, with issues with the landlord, if your deposit's being stolen, if maintenance isn't being done. You know, like a trade union exists to balance out the um, inherent inequality between like a boss and employer. It's the same situation here where you have like an inherently different power relationship between a landlord and a tenant. And as a tenant, you need a union to back you up against the sort of inherent power of money. And we will support you in resisting your eviction, regardless of whether that eviction is deemed legitimate or not by the state, because we think that eviction shouldn't happen, that they're not ethical, and that they're particularly not ethical in the situation that we're in now. In terms of eviction resistance, direct action is really the only way to go, because the RTB can certainly be very helpful if the landlord is doing anything illegal or sort of not by the books. But certainly when you have a situation where it's signed off on by the state, and you really have nothing to do other than do direct action, which is to overhold, which is literally just the practice of staying on past your eviction notice like you continue to pay rent but you say no I'm not gonna leave I'm not gonna bring myself and my family into homelessness everybody who's resisting their eviction shows so much bravery just acknowledging that you don't have to do what people tell you what the powers that be tell you you don't have to leave when you get your eviction notice because evictions absolutely should not be happening in this country housing is just a thing that everybody should have and it should no longer be something that's used to profiteer in this country which has been the case in colonial times and continues embarrassingly to be the case now the government and the, the landlords all have a certain power uh, and people have a different sort of power and that's the kind of power that our union is interested in and I think direct action kind of empowers people to consider their place in the world and consider how we can act together against forms of power that maybe are uh, unjust. 
Uh, Leo's going to speak now. Leo's uh, heroic uh, in his, I suppose, it, it, the example he set to his family and to his neighbours and how he's taken on this landlord. When no one else was helping him, he got stuck in there and he's really like, fills me with hope that he's so, so determined and so proud and I think he's a fine example. So perhaps Leo, you could tell us. The situation of which is landlords actually start to where like they come to the country here and they already start like not provide maintenance for the people there. And now we have like people in swords and in other places where they own properties that they just start to neglecting the people to have actually the rights. I know people, I have helped people in swords and even in other parts that belong to the same company where they refuse to fix the things inside the properties and in common areas as well. And common areas are responsibility for these landlords. The RTB just close the eyes and doing actually nothing and let those landlords doing whatever they want in the country. We need landlords in this country, but I think these bonus funds have to get out from the country. Thank you. In most European countries, a landlord cannot evict a tenant this way. In countries like Belgium, in Germany, in France, if you are a tenant and there's nowhere for you to go to, the landlord cannot evict you. They cannot evict you into homelessness. And yet, our government knew when they lifted the eviction ban that this is what was going to happen. We have a fundamental problem in this country that a landlord can evict tenants so easily and we're seeing illegal evictions, renters are being evicted, they're paying the rent. It's just wrong and it's absolutely illogical because where are they going to go to? Into emergency accommodation, into homelessness where the families, the individuals are damaged by living in emergency accommodation. I would call on the government to step in, buy these properties off the landlord. We have billions that the government doesn't know what to do with. Yet here are people being evicted onto the streets. There is no reason why anyone should be evicted into homelessness. We need emergency legislation, the reinstatement of the eviction ban. It is only by tenants standing up by taking this action and supported by the Tenants Union and others that this will change. Our government has to listen and the people of Ireland need to say as well that this isn't right. Everyone should have a home as a country founded on the basis of dignity, on cherishing all children equally. This is an absolute abhorrence to our foundation, our proclamation. Um, and so listen, well done everyone. And I really believe that this can be with this action sorted that these tenants stay in your home and um, this is what's needed and listen thank you so much for the work you're doing and best of luck thank you the better on the country hungry vultures swooping from the sky the real explanation why we have an unprecedented housing and homelessness crisis in the simplest of terms by looking at those brass plates the housing misery is actually being done in order to make profits for greedy, ruthless vulture funds and corporate landlords. And it is as simple as that. These companies see the housing misery of others as an opportunity to increase their profits. That's exactly what's going on here. Evict people. We don't care if you're made homeless. We don't care if you're sick. We don't care if you've got children. We don't care about the hardship and suffering you have to endure if we are able to raise the rent to the astronomical, unaffordable levels that are now being charged in the rental sector across this city and across this country. And all of this is allowed and facilitated by the government. It is absolutely shameful. And instead of the government standing full square with the tenants and the hundreds of thousands of other tenants who were living in complete insecurity, who at any time could be faced with the possibility of eviction, instead we hear excuses about having to balance the rights of landlords against the rights of tenants. A company that is worth six billion euro and its desire to make even more profit against the rights of people to have a secure and affordable roof 
over their head, or who in this case are threatened with the possibility of homelessness and emergency accommodation. It is absolutely disgusting, and yet the government continue to facilitate it. And shamefully this week, when we gave them the opportunity to reinstate the no-fault eviction ban, they voted that down. And in fact, as we head into the budget, are talking about how we need to give more tax breaks to landlords. And that's pretty shocking when you think about the headquarters of this company is in Luxembourg. Luxembourg, the most notorious tax haven in Europe, second only to this country. It is indicative of the disgusting, obscene priorities of this government. We need a movement to stand with those who are facing eviction, but more generally drive these vulture funds out of the Irish housing market and to demand that the government invest directly itself in the provision of public and affordable housing to meet the needs of the people in this country, to control rents and make them affordable, and to ensure that nobody uh, can ever be made homeless. When they pay their rent, they do all the right things, or indeed even if they can't afford to pay the rent because they're crushed with the cost of living crisis, it is absolutely unacceptable people should be forced into homelessness. So we need to fight for those basic rights for tenants, for public and affordable housing, and to drive these vulture funds out of the country. So well done to the tenants for standing up for themselves, well done to Kazu for organising tenants uh, to resist, and hopefully more people will join this movement, and indeed I hope to see many thousands of people out on the cost of living demonstration that will be happening on Saturday, October the 7th. Well done. Everyone should have a home, safe and warm where you belong. Everyone should have a home, safe and warm where you belong. Everyone should have a home.